Hi, I'm Angie and um, yeah, today I thought I would talk a little bit about the background of this channel and um, yeah, how everything comes together and why I'm actually making these videos. Um, so usually if you have seen my videos for quite a while, then usually you only see my hands doing things like in the middle part. Um, and that's something that is happening in my private kitchen. But I have a chocolate business um, and more and more you will see like these little shorts, like some little snippets um, of my day when I'm working in my professional kitchen. I cannot make like any kind of tutorials or something in my professional kitchen because it would be way too expensive. I'm paying hourly. Um, so um, everything you see me like DIYs and stuff is all happening at home in my kitchen behind me. Oh, and most likely you will see more and more uh, YouTube shorts in your feed. Not only for me, like from everyone, because YouTube started monetizing YouTube shorts. Um, so far I've made one cent, one cent with YouTube shorts. Um, so it's not about money um, or anything. Um, I just think it's a fun thing to share with you out there, like these little snippets of my day. Okay, I just told you what I make with these YouTube shorts, but I actually also wanted to mention in this video how much money I make with YouTube videos in general. So I make about, it depends on the season and which kind of videos I'm, I'm publishing, right? But between 50 and 60 dollars each month with YouTube videos. So um, yeah, I'm definitely not making these videos um, because of the money. One of my most important points um, why I'm making these videos here on YouTube is because I'm actually developing products for my chocolate business. I like to think about my chocolate business, Chocolate Spiel, and um, my YouTube channel, Angie Learns How to Chocolate, as two separate things. But in reality, they really aren't. The very first try I do is usually here on YouTube. Um, just for example, I made some flower redesigns. Um, I've made a beer ganache. Um, I have a peanut butter pretzel. Like all of these things start here on YouTube and sometimes I'll take it into my chocolate business. I mean, if it's like really a bad idea and I've had bad ideas, then I obviously will not. But a very first try is happening here on YouTube with you. That's why I also don't really care if things go wrong. Um, or other than planned, um, just because it's my first try. This is an experiment. If it goes badly, then I've learned something for the future. Um, and yeah, that's why I don't care too much about uh, mistakes. Um, yeah, and I just wanna share it with you. And one more thing about that. So my chocolate brand is really about playfulness and fun and colors. And so people like my customers are expecting new flavors, new designs, pretty much all the time for every holiday. Think about holidays, um, Halloween, Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, you know, all of those things. So I always have to come up with new things. And obviously this is fun, but it can really easily burn you out as well. And so um, with these YouTube videos, I'm kind of taking off the steam because I'm continuously trying things out and makes my life uh, a lot easier in that regard. Often you hear me saying at the end of a video, especially um, yeah, when I'm making fillings or recipes, that I should have added less sugar, more sugar, or maybe um, added some lemon or something like that. And that's because in my head, I'm already thinking about my second try. So don't think that I'm only trying things once. That's not how this goes. So I'm trying, like my first attempt is here on YouTube, but then comes a second try, a third try, a fourth try. Um, yeah, so don't be frustrated if things are not working out your way. It just needs more tips. The second really big reason why I'm making these videos is this community here. It is so cool. I get to connect with people from around the world to talk about chocolate. How cool is that? Um, and when I make a mistake or don't know um, what to do differently, like someone will mention something in the comments um, which will fix my problems. So this is awesome. I, I just love this area, this little nice little space here on the internet uh, where no one is mean to each other. So I, I really appreciate that. And that's really one big reason why I'm doing this. Now let's come to my third big uh, point why I'm making these videos. It's kind of adjacent to uh, my second point, um, but I feel like that the chocolate world and the chocolatier world can feel inaccessible. Just an example. I like to watch baking shows and there's usually a chocolate week. And then the contestants are always like, oh, chocolate is so finicky and it's so hard to work with. I feel like chocolate is awesome to work with you can screw up your temper a hundred times and you can still reuse it and redo it and give it another shot. You can't burn it and you can't add water. I mean, then it's, then it's gone, then it's that. Um, but chocolate 
is so patient with you. You just have to respect your chocolate. It knows exactly what it needs. It needs the right temperature at the right time. Yeah, so I think it's just more about patience than anything else. What I'm trying to say here is that you can make beautiful bonbons or chocolate at home without any fancy equipment or expensive tools. You can totally do it. You just have to respect your chocolate. Yeah, and that's it. Um, those are the three reasons why I'm making YouTube videos. Um, I don't know if this was um, a helpful or interesting video of some sort, so let me know in the comments. Um, next time I will be back with something more chocolatey. I promise. See you soon. Bye.